Hello everybody. Today we have a Toshiba laptop, model C45, that doesn't turn on. We can see that there is no charging light present. All the LEDs are off. Let's measure the voltage on the charger. We have 19 volts, the charger is OK. Let's open this laptop and check what is wrong. Let's measure the voltage on the connector of the charging port. The 19 volts are not present. When I disconnect the connector and measure directly on the connector, 19 volts is present. Let's measure the voltages on the big coils, they usually are the output of the different power rails. Not all the power rails are enabled when the computer is off, but 3.3 volts always, and 5 volts always should be present always. Let's take out this motherboard. On screen you can see the motherboard model. Let's open the schematics. Let's measure the voltage on the fuse PF1, that is just after the charging port. 19 volts is present after the fuse. Let's measure the voltage on resistance PR4.
19 volts is present on both sides of resistance PR4. Let's check the IC PU2. This is the IC that creates 3.3 volts and 5 volts always. On screen you can see the pin out of the IC. We have to check pin 16, voltage in, pin 13, enable, pin 8, this is 3 volts generated by this IC, pin 17, this is 5 volts generated by this IC, pin 1, enable trip 1, pin 6 enable trip 2. All the signals are important, but those have to be present first. Some of the signals are not present. Maybe 3.3 volts power railed and or 5 volts power rail is shorted. Let's test those power rails with a bench power supply. Set the bench power supply to 1 volt, 2 amperes. Black probe on ground, red probe on the coil. PL1 is on 5 volts always power rail and PL4 is on 3.3 volts always power rail. Found the short on 5 volts always power rail. Let's use a thermal camera to find the shorted component. There it is, the small red dot. Let's see on microscope. Let's use a little bit of petrol and apply some amps again. Let's use a little bit of flux. Let's remove the capacitor with a soldering iron at 370 degrees Celsius and add some leaded solder. Let's prepare the pads for the replacement. The shorted capacitor is PC171. We can see the value of the capacitor on screen. I took the capacitor with the same value from a motherboard that I use for spares. Let's set the hot air station to 345 degrees Celsius and preheat the board. When the solder melts, we can drop the capacitor there.
clean with a soporable alcohol. Let's try with the charger. Looks like it is working. Let's put everything back in place. We have charging light. The laptop is on. In the description of the video you will find the links of all the tools and equipments used in this repair. Like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and activate the bell to get notifications. Thank you and see you on the next video.